One of the problems that students come across in the Harmer Pro Tools Studio quite a lot is not being able to get sound into Pro Tools. Um, this can be for um, various reasons, but um, some of the main reasons are to do with the settings within Pro Tools. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things to check. The first thing I would check is in the setup menu under the playback engine and it's to check that you've got the correct playback engine selected from this drop down box here you have four options um, HDMI, built in output, Pro Tools aggregate IO and HD native Thunderbolt and it's the top one that you want to choose so HD native Thunderbolt um, it will usually ask you if you want to do that and it will also close the session down um, and reopen it once you've okayed those changes there. Next thing to check is in the hardware menu. So again set up hardware and um, under this section here the interface HDIO we've got three tabs digital, analog in and main if you have a look at the analog in tab that's the important one and as a default um, if you've never used the Pro Tools Studio before all of your inputs are going to be set to plus 4 dB however we have got the um, the control 24 desk set to minus 10 dB so we need to tell Pro Tools that that is the case uh, all you have to do is uh, click on each of these channels and select minus 10 for channel 1 to 8. Uh, once you've done that, everything should be okay. So you okay that. And um, then you should be getting some signal into Pro Tools.